At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. This April, as part of Remake Learning Days, BitSource will be hosting Mountain E-Day to allow families to learn more about engineering. Tuesday, Mountaintop spoke with BitSource co-founder Rusty Justice about the event. Well, E-Day is something that was uh, first started by the University of Kentucky, or my alma mater, and uh, it's uh, for Engineering Day. And so it's just to promote the understanding and awareness amongst students about the importance of opportunities in engineering. And so uh, we're having an event here in Eastern Kentucky called Mountain E-Day, and, uh, and we're teaching and uh, providing opportunities for students to come and see various aspects of engineering, hopefully something that will encourage and interest them and uh, pique their interest and help them to maybe choose engineering as a career path. As part of Mountain E-Day, families can visit three venues, such as the Appalachian Wireless Arena, BitSource, and the University of Pikeville to learn more about engineering. Director of Digital Literacy, Tracy Tackett, gives an example of an engineering project right here in Pikeville. An example of an engineering design process project that was completed here at BitSource is the new walking tunnel that goes from the parking lot over to the Pikeville Medical Center. That was just an idea, but through three-dimensional design work and then the creation of a, a three-dimensional model, that led to an actual completed project here in Pikeville. As families and students prepare for the E-Day event, Justice continues to say that kids interested in engineering shouldn't be turned away if they lack skills such as math, as there are many specialties within the field. From aeronautics to, to biomedical to civil engineering, transportation engineering, uh, mining engineering, um, electrical, chemical, so many. I mean, there's just a, 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 a environmental, so many opportunities in engineering. Uh, the thing about students, the first thing I know what I said when I was a student, I can't do the math, it's too hard. Well, you really can when you start, when the math becomes less abstract and start saying, okay, this is how I figure out why that bridge should be there and how, how strong that bridge should be or, you know, whatever the application is that interests that person. And so, uh, and that's the value of this where students can come and actually see the results, the end product of all these uh, years of study we're asking them to do. Now it's, it's a, a challenging uh, curriculum, but it's, it's attainable uh, and, uh, and we have lots of really smart kids here that can do it. Mountain ED is April 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. From Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.